This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Toronado. Last night, we left out of Pier Point Landing in Long Beach, California. We ran across, went past Catalina. We're at San Clemente Island. We're on the front side of the island right now, and our skipper Ray has us looking for calico bass, some rockfish, and if we get really lucky, some yellowtail too. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Got 20 pound fluorocarbon, size 2 0 hook. Let's see what we got here. There it is. There, calico bass. You see, that's a that fly line bait. Barely got them hooked. Little calico bass. All right, let's take a little break here from the pouring rain in San Clemente Island, Boy Tornado and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit what we're doing today. We're fishing over at San Clemente Island. When you come out here to San Clemente early in the season like this, you really don't know what to expect. You know that there's always gonna be calico bass close to the kelp along the shore of the island. And then in deeper waters, there's plenty of rockfish. But what we're looking for is a few yellowtail too. So you have to come prepared for everything. So the basic gear you need is something like this. You have 65 pound spectra and be able to put 25, 30, maybe even 40 pound fluorocarbon on top. And a reel like this will let you do that. You want a nice medium action rod, nothing too heavy, but something you can cast out. If you're casting out live bait, like sardines or live squid. Now, as far as artificials, for the rockfish in that deeper water, a magic metal jig like this, eight, 10 ounce, works out really good. I like the glow in the dark for bouncing on the bottom for the lingcod and the rockfish. And if you're fishing yellowtail with the metal jig, you wanna go down to a four and a half size. This is the magic metal, four and a half, all in red. Drop this down about halfway down, dart it right back to you. It's called yo-yo fishing. Works out really good for the yellowtail. Along the edge of the kelp, looking for the calico bass. I like to use a one ounce B52 bucktail. This works out really good. Just let it fall along the edge of the kelp, put a piece of squid on it, and it works out great. If you want to use it for a double dropper loop rig for rockfish, works out good for that too. A one ounce B52 bucktail is great for that. Now, if you want to use a bucktail and just target like a big lingcod, think about using a four or six ounce B52 bucktail. Bounce it along the bottom. Don't go too far up because those fish should be right along the bottom of the rocks. As you bounce it around, the lingcod will chase it. They're very aggressive and these work out good. You can also catch calico bass, yellowtail, white sea bass on these jigs too. Well, this is the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Nice 
Calico. Hey. <laughs> nice pass there. All right, it is. First legal of the day, yeah. So the skipper just made a move. We're still here at San Clemente Island. We're still on the front side. We finally have a little break from the action, so I don't have that all that rain gear on. So uh, what we're doing right now is I'm throwing a bucktail out with some squid. I'm getting some nibbles right now. I just casted it out. This is a brand new B-52 HD model. It has a really big ADOT Mustad hook on there. And it has some squid. I'm getting picked. I think I'm going to get bit right here. So I'm going to wind down. There we go. There we go. See what I got here. Should be a calico bass. Oh, I don't think he swallowed it. I think I lost him. So I'll, let me just check this bait really quick. I'll show you the jig and I'll cast it back out there. That was a nice bite. Yeah, I took all my squid. So I'll go get some more squid. This is the jig I was using. Put a couple more pieces of squid on there and try it again. Calico. Yeah, yeah, another calico. This might be a keeper. Looks about right. That looks about right. Same keeper to me. Looks about right. Yeah, let me measure. Yeah, I'll take it. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Thank you. Decent bass. Go. Fishing with Dan on the Toronado. A little smaller. This is the bucktail I'm going to use, a B-52 HD model. We got two dead squid here. This has a really big hook. So this is designed for like yellowtail, big calico bass. So that's why it's called the HD, because it has a big ADOC hook. So I'm going to get back in here somewhere, try to find a slot. Dan Hernandez on the Tornado. Good. There we go. Slyline bait. I got this. 
I got my plastic bag wrapped all over my roof. I'm not used to fishing with this. We got lots of weather here today, lots of rain, a little bit of wind. Wind's supposed to get worse, but the fish are chewing a little bit. I think I got a bass going here. There's color. It comes up. There we go. Another Kelikou bass. This one looks a little short. He's a little deep. I'm gonna take the hook out of it and let it go. But let's take a little break from the action here at San Clemente Island board the Tornado and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these fish we're catching in the rain. This week in the galley, I wanna do a simple ceviche dish for you with rockfish. A lot of people are always asking me, can you do ceviche with rockfish? And yes, you can. This is some chucklehead, some whitefish, different rockfish I've caught. Just put it all together, mix it in here. So the first thing you want to do is add your citrus to it. So I've got some limes, lemons. This is a traditional ingredient that goes in most ceviche dishes, is always some limes and lemons. And you can see how it's already changing the color of the fish. It's already getting lighter from just the juice that's hitting it. If I was at home and I was gonna do this to eat later in the day, or even here on the boat, but say I was gonna eat it this evening, I would add all this to it and then let it sit in the refrigerator for like two hours or so. It really helps it marinate and cook. Most people will just add the lemon and lime, but to change things up a little bit, what I like to do is add orange. So I got some oranges here. And tell you, just adding that orange to it just really changes the whole complexion of the fish and the flavor of it. Just gives it that extra little bite that people aren't used to. And I think it makes a big difference. Just mix this all up really good. Now, some of the in other ingredients that I like to add, I like to put bell peppers and chilies. So these are some serrano chilies. And you can just put serrano chilies up to as hot as you like it. This is um, red and green bell peppers. Some tomatoes. Some fresh cilantro. Gotta always put that in there. And some red onions. Like to add a little salt. And this fish is just gonna cook in all those juices and all those ingredients are, the flavor is gonna go right into the fish. And you can see how this fish has already changed colors just in a couple of minutes we've been doing this. And this is the finished dish. This is what it looks like. Again, if I was at home or if I was gonna eat this later, I would throw this in the refrigerator for two hours, let all those juices cook in there, but you can already see how much the juices have already penetrated the fish, how it's changed the color and it's, it's already ready to eat. Just gonna take a little bite here. Mmm. That is delicious. Just a really simple dish you can do with your rockfish. Just make a ceviche dish from rockfish, add these ingredients, and you won't be disappointed. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Short. 
There we go, we got a double going. He has a bigger fish than I have. I think I have a bass. He's in the kelp. So we made another move. We're more to the west of the island. And uh, we got a double going here. I think mine's a calico. I don't know for sure. Yeah, here comes mine. Mine's got a couple lines wrapped in it. Here's my calico bass. Wayne. It's been a challenge today. Early, it was raining so hard. And now we got wind blowing about 15, gonna blow it about 25 knots later this afternoon. And uh, it's a low calico I just caught. Kept seeing a bunch of shorts like this, and we got a few legals mixed in. We got some yellowtail earlier today. So we're gonna fish this area for a little bit, and then we're gonna work our way outside, see if we can get us some rockfish. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with more action right here, San Clemente Island for the Tornado. Thank you. This is Hector, he just caught this fish. Skipper just made another move. We're back in an area that we were at this morning in the pouring rain. The rain's all gone, but we have heavy winds now. First bait in the water and nice yellow. Tornado. Just got bit on a fly line. Doesn't feel like a yellow. I think it's a bonita, but 
You never know. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what it is. It's a bonita. I got. It. There we go. There's a bonita. Not a yellowtail, but a bonita. Nice fish. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Nice bonita here. This week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today, catch all the fish. It was all about using light line, 20 pound fluorocarbon, smaller hook, size 1.0, size 2.0, with these nice big sardines was the ticket. That's how all these calico bass, bonita, even those yellowtail, that's what they were landed on. Then we're caught on 30 pound, it was all 20 pound fluorocarbon. Well, I want to thank Captain Ray and all the crew here on the Tornado. They were great, we had lots of fun fishing with them. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.